Hello everyone, today I decided to run my really really old used motor oil reformer. I built it back in 2011, it was an experimental one. I decided to run a small distillation with this unit. Here's the temperature. Yeah, and there's the red hot elements inside. It's a flat bottom. It's a semi-continuous system. No temperature control as such required. It should be run at its maximum to completely disintegrate, destruct all the hydrocarbons that goes in. So there's only black carbons left within the reactor and it needs to be removed from time to time. It's really easy to do. Everything is just removable and you can take it apart in a matter of seconds. I'm running uh, used diesel oil. Uh, the previous video showed how I run it through the centrifuge and remove quite a lot of sludge from there. Now here we've got oil supply into the machine and it can be controlled. We can open up or close the valve. And here we've got quite few outlets. As usual we've got really terrible wind. It's normal condition of weather in this region, in this particular place. Now here, this one is the main outlet and here we're gonna collect some diesel fraction and uh, the higher we go the more thinner fractions we're gonna have in this case I decided to collect two fractions a little bit lighter than diesel possibly some sort of kerosene I'm gonna collect them together the petrol fraction is gonna be collected separately here yeah, wind is really strong. I already got this container blown and everything is on the floor. Here's a flow control valve. Have some sort of portions coming out. And I'm afraid to leave my camera on tripod because it could be blown between. It's more like an extraction fan. And here's the oil. And this oil going into the machine through the pump. The wind is terrible. It's just you can see it blows everything. I had to use a couple of concrete blocks over here and here's a breather breathing tube and petrol tube at the same time all light fractions are come up out of this tube production rate is not that fast but it's a really small machine really tiny one that's approximately 1.5 kilowatt maybe 2 kilowatt thing It's still running and the wind is so strong I cannot uh, really control the machine at all crazy so annoying 